Aloha and welcome. My name is Taylor Norris and I'm a certified galactic astrology soul reader and Reiki master teacher. And in today's video, we will be discussing the upcoming Jupiter in Gemini transit. It is a year long transit and a little bit about what's in store for us, what we can look forward to big blessings ahead. Thank you so much for being with me today in this video. On May 25th of this year, Jupiter will enter the sign of Gemini, where it will be transiting until June 9th of 2025. Jupiter is a planet that has about a 12-year orbit around the sun. So you can think back to 12 years ago when Jupiter was last in the sign of Gemini. And those dates are June 11th, 2012 through June 25th of 2013. So you can think back what was going on in your life the latter half of 2012 and the first half of 2013. And that can give you a little sense of the kinds of themes, the area of your life that may be highlighted for an upgrade this time around with the Jupiter transit. So there may be an echo, a resonance of something that you were building and laying a foundation for back then that this time around this transit, it can even spiral to its next highest level, its next highest expression, its next octave. Jupiter is a planet of expansion and abundance, and it really extends and expands and strengthens and showers with blessings, typically anything and everything that it touches. So this transit will be wonderful if you have your sun, your moon, your rising sign, your midheaven, in the sign of Gemini, maybe you have other planets or points, nodes of the moon in Gemini. This is a wonderful transit of expansion and good fortune for you. So everybody has the sign of Gemini in their birth chart. So you can look in your birth chart and see which house, which life area is the sign of Gemini occupying. And this will give you a sense of which life area will be receiving these blessings and this expansion of the zodiac sign energy of Gemini. So mental, very mental communications, ideas in general, this is like information overload. This is a lot of information for all of us to be receiving telepathy, insights, downloads, revelations. This is a great time to learn, to study, to teach, to grow, to share, to write, to communicate, to blog, to make videos, to use social media, to share your message far and wide. And this is even more significant if you're watching this video, then your chances are you're a light worker, you're a healer, you're a reader, you're somebody who cares about the well-being of the earth. So this can be a wonderful time for you to reflect on what is your message and to feel very empowered and supported and expanded. Like you have the confidence to put more of your message out there and share more of your inner truth because that will be very much supported and many others will be feeling this. So it can help raise the frequency of humanity and the earth, like know the importance of your voice and your contribution, even as so many different voices are speaking and there's so much information, your unique contribution is valuable in whatever ways you are guided to express yourself and communicate. And this can be like very expansive communications. I've been reflecting on this quite a lot because my own Jupiter is in Gemini. And so for everybody who 
has the planet Jupiter in the sign of Gemini, this will bring in a Jupiter return for you. So many of you will have heard of a Saturn return. There are Jupiter returns, Venus returns. There's a return for every kind of planet. You have your solar return every year at your birthday, the day you were born in the month and the day. So Jupiter and Gemini will be a Jupiter return for some of us, and that is myself included. So thinking about really, okay, it can be kind of hard when it's your own placement some of the time because it's so natural and so innate. I've been reflecting on what is this Jupiter and Gemini energy. Jupiter is talking about our belief systems. It is also talking about our learning style. And I know for me with Jupiter and Gemini, I also have the moon in Gemini. So this is mediated some somewhat by that as well. But for Jupiter and Gemini people, it's like you can just receive so much information and it's like telepathically integrated and osmosed into your being. You just, you can like get it. <laughs> And there's also a largeness of curiosity, insatiable curiosity and thirst for knowledge and information and facts and figures and continuing to study and learn and grow and then also to share. So this is a great placement and a great transit for, like I said, teaching and learning, both being a teacher and being a student and embodying more of you know, reflecting on what that looks like for you, how you can express that yourself. And also this might be like an easier time to absorb vast quantities of information, whether that's from like another human teacher or many human teachers and classes like that, or if it's like non-physical energies that are coming through Reiki energy, spirit guides, enlightened star being star families, your higher self, your future self, parallel selves, parallel realities, receiving information really easily through your clear senses, your insights, your downloads, and having more of your clear senses come online and like receiving information for you for your highest good. And this could be something that you're sharing in your client work. If you are a healer or you're a reader of some kind that you find that the information is coming through and you're a cleaner, clearer channel as well. I think it's a wonderful time to really connect with your inner truth, your own connection and see an expanded sense of that telepathy. I know as a kid growing up, and I mean, even still now, it's like the level of the telepathy <laughs> is very high and very heightened. I grew up an only child, so it was just like very natural for me to need to tune into things and people and plants and animals and humans and everything else. So this is a time where those telepathic abilities can be enhanced and knowing your power to turn them on, turn them off and navigate in that way as well. Because sometimes it's not appropriate to have that telepathy turned on. And I know in my own study and intuitive development, it's really helped me to actually be able to turn that down and then have spaces where I can have it turned on wide open and it's beautiful, but to also realize when I need to turn it down. And also what's cool is to realize when you're in the presence of somebody else who's also working with their telepathy and has those natural abilities, if, if they're connecting in with your energy and you don't want them to... <laughs> <laughs> like that's not why you're there. You're not there for an intuitive reading or whatever the case may be to be able to kind of like lock it down and like be sovereign within your mind. And so as I'm hearing myself saying that I'm realizing the importance of sovereignty with our minds in general and all the different ways our minds are 
influenced by information, whether that's news media, social media, the people in our lives, non-physical entities, just like the whole gamut, having that sovereignty and that clarity and that discernment within your mental body. And what's interesting is that as Jupiter transits Gemini too, it is going to make conjunctions with a lot of different fixed stars. So Gemini zodiac sign has many different fixed stars within it when you project those stars onto the zodiac wheel as we do within galactic astrology and other astrologers who work with fixed stars do that in order to look at the fixed stars. So as Jupiter transits Gemini, it's going to be making conjunctions to all the stars of the Pleiades. So including Electra, Tegeta, Maya, Alcyone, Pleione, and it's also going to be making conjunctions with the stars of Hyades, and these are stars in the constellation of Taurus the Bull. So there can be galactic information and heritage and awakening of a lot more of our galactic contact. <laughs> our awareness that we are star beings and, and more of our galactic self, more of our expanded sense of like connecting with star guides and maybe our own soul's experiences within other star systems and really seeing that I think galactic contact and disclosure and these kinds of things coming through and being very highlighted in this transit, I think particularly when Jupiter does enter Gemini. So it'll be very interesting to see what comes through. Jupiter will also make a conjunction with royal star Aldebaran. And so this will be a very significant infusion of our integrity and some of the other star lessons and signatures of the Aldebaran star system. So really, really beautiful. And I think really, really empowering and also speaking to spiritual business and manifestation, even if it's not a spiritual business, but like a business that is aligned with your own sense of spiritual connection and being of service and aligned with uplifting the well-being of humanity and the earth and really making sure your actions are in alignment with your words in alignment with your thoughts and having that integrity flow through all of your beingness. Jupiter will also conjunct the stars of Orion, so including Regal and Bellatrix. It's going to be making three contacts with Regal and Bellatrix and Orion, as well as Nihal and Lepus, and that is due to Jupiter's retrograde cycle. So Regal has a story about knowledge and learning and teaching and protection. Jupiter is also a planet of protection. So there is a lot there to be said. Bellatrix having to do with shadow work and healing some of those polarity themes, I think are going to be hugely highlighted this Jupiter and Gemini transit because Jupiter will make conjunctions with all of the stars of Orion and the galactic stories in Orion had to do with polarity that was exaggerated well beyond the polarity and the duality that we see upon the earth here, where there was such a strong sense of light warriorship and battling light versus dark and these issues of like mind control and psychic control and all of these kinds of things really really highlighted and warriors taking action to stop that but realizing in fighting the quote-unquote enemy they were just empowering the continuation of that conflict. So very interesting to see how that may or may not map onto our own realities at a global scale, and then also at a more personal level as well. Jupiter will be retrograde from October 8th 
of this year until February 13th, going from 21 degrees of Gemini, 20 minutes, all the way back to 11 degrees and 16 minutes of Gemini, where it will station direct on February 3rd of next year. And so from then on out, it will be making conjunctions with Capella Star and Auriga, more of the Orion stars, including Orion Nebula, as well as Polaris, our North Star in Ursa Minor. So really, really beautiful to end that Jupiter and Gemini transit with a, a conjunction with Polaris, our North Star, that clear sense of direction, and also Betelgeuse, a star that is very much of that masculine energy, whereas Bellatrix is more of the feminine, Betelgeuse more of that masculine, and also that that success just like coming really easily by the time we make it to June 5th of 2025. I will be going over all of this and more in depth in a class I am teaching on Jupiter and Gemini. It's called Expanding Mental Mastery, and it includes galactic astrology teachings as well as a Reiki journey that is specifically channeled to help you navigate and bring in the highest expression of this Jupiter and Gemini transit for you. So bringing in the healing, the empowerment, your spiritual guidance, learning more about what this transit means for you in terms of the astrology. I make personalized PDFs for everybody who signs up for the class so that you can see that on your own natal chart more about what it means, and then also connecting to your own inner guidance in the Reiki journey that will also really focus on the Pleiadian energy and Alpha Centauri, because those are very highlighted when Jupiter first moves into Gemini on the day of the class, which is May 25th, and it's occurring at 8 to 11 a.m. Hawaii time. It will be recorded. So no worries if you cannot attend live. You will receive high quality recordings of the class. And these classes are really fun. This is part of a series I've been doing that includes the galactic astrology with the Reiki energy. And it really is the safe space of like-hearted, like-minded community where you can show up, you can be fully held in the Reiki energy, in the loving energy, learn more about astrology, learn more about this transit, ask your questions, receive answers, and also have your own personal deeply healing and empowering inner experience of the astrology and the way Reiki works, it's sending you good energy moving forward. It's sending good energy across your entire soul's experience and soul timeline, revealing more of your spirit and your true and pure essence, and also sending forward. So literally for the next year, it's like extended release Reiki that will just be like dropping into your field continuously over the course of this transit. That's why I love Reiki <laughs> so much. It's so beautiful and working with it, with the astrology and with the transits is a really powerful way to synchronize with the movements and the cycles of our sun, our star, our earth, our planet, the moon, the the stars, the other planets, and really come into more of that harmony so that we're co-creating with the galactic and the cosmic harmony. So really, really wonderful. You can learn more about the class. It's I've got a whole very Jupiter and Gemini description of the class with a lot of words, sharing more about what you can expect to learn and receive in the class. The details are on my website, taylornorrisreiki.com. I look forward to connecting with you more. If you have any questions about the class, 
drop it in the comments below. Reach out. I look forward to connecting with you. Many blessings for this wonderful Jupiter and Gemini transit for you. Aho, amen, namaste, and so it is. Mahalo.